We're here at Club Menangle, a museum and walk of fame, pays respects and honours the legends of our sport. Down there we've got Kevin Newman, Jimmy Caffin, of course, Brian Hancock, and here, side by side, as they were so often throughout their legendary careers, Paleface Adios and Hondo Grattan, of course, Hondo Grattan driven by the great Tony A.D. Turnbull. Now today, on the day when his friends, family and loved ones lay him to rest, we pay respect and honour the legacy and achievements of the great A.D. Turnbull. They don't come much better than AD. Ask anyone who drove against him and they'll tell you about his sheer tenacity and will to win, which probably explains why he won the New South Wales Drivers' Premiership 11 times. He had 100 winners in a season on 12 occasions. They're just mind-boggling numbers. He was the first driver in Australia to notch 2,000 winners. In fact, by the time he called it quits, after more than four decades in the sulky, he was just shy of 3,000 winners. Probably none more famous than those he chalked up with his star pacer, Hondo Grattan. Now together they won two Inter-Dominions and a Miracle Mile. And you'd reckon if the concept was around back in his day, AD would have a TAB Regional Championships title to his name as well. Well tomorrow night, two of his super talented grandchildren will be driving in his honour, hoping it's them first past this winning post in the first ever TAB Regional Championships State Final. One of them will be his grandson, Will Rickson. He told me a few months ago he wanted a Group 1 win by year's end. Well, guess what? He did it just a few hours before his grandfather passed away on Sunday night. No more lying and closing off quickly is forever yet. It's a great finish. And also Father Bob's coming through in the middle. Father Bob grabs the front and wins. Ellen Bartley's duo, Forever Yin and No More Lying, have also qualified out of that Riverina final. Now, Will's cousin, AD's granddaughter, Amanda Turnbull, will drive in the final too. She'll be on Kian Cruiser, who was too good for them in Bathurst. Catch us back down the inside is Crazy Shippo. Could it be the one? Kia Cruiser struck the front of the 100. It looks as though it's going to be Gemma Hewitt. Group 1 glory, it sure is. Crazy Shippo qualifies out of that race too, but you'll be hard pressed to find a bigger smile anywhere on the planet than the one Gemma Hewitt was sporting that night. It was her first Group 1 win. Now, Luke McCarthy has jumped off Kian Cruiser, though. Given the McCarthy stable has qualified, I like me better. Brad Hewitt has qualified Send It. But they were playing second fiddle in the Metropolitan Final in a race that produced one of the more remarkable storylines in Australian sport. I can run moves up on the inside. I can run Send It and I like me better. I can run hits the lead. I can run Kerry Ann Morris gets the group one. What a story. She is a highly decorated trainer, but this was Kerry Ann Morris's first Group 1 victory as a driver. And she did it just three weeks after giving birth to baby daughter Stella. A story which made it onto the national news this week as the nation was told about this amazing feat. Now some people are going to be watching this and they're going to be amazed that you could do that. Well, how did you do it? Um, I'm actually not real sure. I, I felt fine after having her and um, yeah, obviously my body um, just felt comfortable and allowed me to um, be able to continue doing what, um, you know, day to day things that I normally used to do. Young Archie, an absolute star there in his own right too, really revelling in his moment on national TV. And if you're thinking his dad Robbie has missed out on all the publicity too, well think again. You see, what makes this yarn even better, it came just 24 hours after Kerry Ann's husband Robert Morris won the Group 1 Hunter Region Final in Newcastle. 150 left to go over Major Bob and then Soho Sinatra. The choreographer has all the right moves tonight and is the TAB Regional Champion for the Hunter. That was Major Bob closing quickly there at the finish to also qualify for the state final, but what a fantastic couple of days for the Morris household. And what a cracking state final we have ahead of us. It's one of the most open Group 1 races you'll see and a celebration of the outstanding talent coming out of the regions, just like A.D. Turnbull himself. Today, we lay him to rest on a solemn day for the harness racing industry. Sadly, today we also farewell Les Johnson, who was a breeder of champions, including Golden Rain, and more recently, super filly Majida. Two great men who left such a lasting legacy on the harness racing industry, especially in the regions. No doubt they'll be looking down fondly tomorrow night as the best of regional racing comes together here at Menangle Park for the state final of the TAB Regional Championships. They will be missed. Enjoy the race, please stay safe. I'll catch you next week 
on the Sprint Line.